For this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to do a bricklay roller set. Bricklay roller set is for those clients that like to wear their hair all back off their face. How we determine what size of roller we should use depends on hair length. Hair needs to go around a roller two and a half times to create curl. So for this length of hair, we are going to use our beige rollers, which are one inch in diameter. We will start by sectioning off a rectangle from the front hairline. So I'm going to take a long beige roller and I am measuring just less than the length of the roller. I'm not going to measure the full length of the roller because hair will fall off the sides. So we say full length, but we always mean just less than the length. So I'm going to part straight back. Now I want to be one and a half diameters back. So I will stand my roller up. There's one diameter and one half. So from the front hairline, I'm going to create a triangle shape. So I'm gonna part back to that one and a half diameter and back to that one and a half diameter to make a triangle. Then I will cut the point off of this triangle to create a trapezoid shape. So the size of my base is one and a half diameter and I have created a trapezoid shape. My tool position is going to be on base. I wanna create maximum volume over the curve of the head from the front to the crown. So on base means I comb this hair 45 degrees above the center of the base. There's 90, 45 is here. Hold that hair between your ring, between your index and middle finger, place the roller under the section of hair, smooth those ends, the wetter the hair is, the better it will stick. Get your fingers out of the inside and roll. This will help you control the hair from falling off the end of the roller. Hold that roller tight and you are going to use your double prong clips. Slide right along the scalp closest to this part. You may need to put a clip on the other side as well, just to secure this roller. So because it's a bricklay pattern, bricklay means nothing lines up one behind the other. So anytime I have one roller in the center, my next row is always going to start by parting from the center and I'm just gonna turn the head and I will measure one and a half diameter at the center part, but I only want one diameter at the front hairline. The reason we go one and a half diameters to one diameter is to conform with the curve of the head. Now I need to stand equal to this base. If I measure the length of this section, it is longer than a roller, but that's okay on these sections. We want to make sure that we comb the hair 90 from the back of the section and on base 45 degrees above the center of the base. So 45 degrees away from you. Put your roller in, smooth those ends. Again, keep your hair wet. It will stick to these magnetic rollers better. Smooth that hair, then get your fingers on the outside and your thumb and roll. Again, those ends, they're not wet, they do not stick. So roll this in on base which means that I should be able to see my part. Now I'm going to hold my roller and my
my clip is going to slide along the scalp at the part. Do not clip that piece of hair. It will dry with a clip mark. Going to go to the other side. Again, I've already measured my diameter and a half from my previous side. So I will measure one diameter at my front hairline, one and a half diameters at the center part. Move that head so that you are standing equal to your base part. So because this length of this section is longer than the length of a roller, make sure that you're straight up 90 from the back, but you are combing that hair 45 degrees above the center of the base or away from you to create an on base tool position. Again, keep your ends wet. Obviously, hair that is naturally curly or wavy or hair that's been permed is easier to get to stick and go around your rollers, but not everyone is going to have curly hair. So again, on this side being right-handed, I want to clip from the back. You still need to clip from the front. So slide your clip along the scalp and clip. Again, I'm going to turn my head. At this point, before I move on, I am going to part out a section on either side at the front hairline. The reason I part this out is so that I can keep that curved up shape. So from my last roller, I'm going to move in about a quarter inch and I'm going to part a slight diagonal back line to the high point of the ear. If I was to measure I should be pretty much a diameter and a half at the ear. I am just going to clip this out of the way and I am going to do the same on the other side. So moving a quarter inch back and doing a slight diagonal back line to the top of the ear And I should be approximately one and a half diameters. By sectioning out these sections on the sides, it will allow us to keep our sections curved up. If I was not to take these out, eventually I'm going to start going vertical on my sections. And I want to keep it happy face, curved, with the curve of the head. So continuing my bricklay. Now I have a split in two rollers, which means that I'm going to have one. But before I can start putting rollers in, I need to subdivide. So I'm going to do diameter and a half at the center. And it's always going to be one diameter towards the face. So that this section stays curved or goes with the curve of the head. So you're going to subdivide your section before you start to apply your rollers. So the entire way from one side to the other, diameter and a half at the center back to one diameter towards the hairline. So this is the section that I'm going to put my rollers in. So bricklay pattern means I'm going to start with the roller in the center. I always start from the center and work out. So I am going to section just less than the length 
of my roller and I am going to do on base tool position still. So combing that 45 degrees above the center of the base or away from you, smooth that hair around the roller. Again, if your ends are not sticking, keep that hair really wet. Smooth that hair, roll it down to your base, hold and clip. Now you should only need a clip on one side. Being right-handed, I'm always gonna put my clip on the right side. I am going to move to the right side of the head and with this section, yes, I am slightly longer than the length of a roller, but again, I can have hair move off of that hairline. So I'm going to comb this hair 90 above the center of the base or 45 above the center of the base to create on base tool position. Long roller again, smooth those ends and roll that hair down. Clip from the front, slide it along the scalp closest to the part you're rolling towards, which is here. Other side, I'm going to do the same thing. This is my section, 45 degrees above the center of the base. Again, keeping the hair nice and wet, long beige rollers. Smooth that hair around your roller, get it to stick. Try to keep the hair spread out. If you pinch, it will not stay on those rollers. Roll it in. Now I'm going to hold and I am going to clip from the front hairline. This just avoids clips being in your way and disturbing the previous rollers. So I go back to my center back again and follow my bricklay pattern. First, I'm going to measure one and a half diameters at the center of my section. I am always gonna subdivide my entire section. I want to be one diameter at the side and I am going to section my entire section out first. So one and a half diameters at the center back to one roller diameter at the side, then back to your center back because I have one roller here I need to split to create the bricklay pattern. So I will do my right side first. I'm gonna measure length of a long roller. And I want on base tool position still 45 degrees above the center of the base. Smooth your ends and Roll that hair down to your base. Hold and clip. Now the section that I have left, again, is just slightly longer than the length of my roller. So I'm okay to put one roller in here. If it was a lot longer, then I would need to 
foot two rollers. So on base tool position, 45 degrees above the center of the base. Again, keep your ends wet. They will go around your rollers easier. Smooth that hair and roll it down to your base. Slide your clip along the scalp closest to the base you roll or the part you're rolling towards. Go to my other side and I will have the same. I am going to have long, long. I still want to create an on base tool position. On the left, I am always going to clip on the left side of the roller and maneuver your hair around those clips. Again, long beige roller, smooth my ends, roll in. Now, as you come down, that clip is in the way, I can just move that roller over and roll down so that that clip goes inside the roller. Clip towards the front hairline. Okay, come back to my center back and we are going to measure out one more row with your beige rollers. Diameter and a half. Two one diameter at towards the front hairline. Again, the reason that we go one and a half diameters at the center back to one diameter towards the front is to go with the curve of the head so that your rollers are conforming to that head shape. So measure out your entire section before you start to apply your rollers. So once I have it sectioned out, I'm going to go back to my center back and brick lay means I have a split. I need to start with one roller at the center back. I'm still creating on base tool position. So 45 degrees above the center of the base. And your hair is going under the roller or the roller is going under your hair and you are rolling down. This is creating volume. So on this side, I am going to measure length of my roller again. On base tool position. So 45 degrees above the center. Roll this down. Maneuver the hair or the roller around that clip and clip. Now the section that I have left, just going to check to see if my base roller will still fit. These red rollers are the exact same size as your base rollers. So I'm going to put one more long one inch diameter roller in this section. Again, keeping the hair wet will keep that hair 
around your rollers better and it will stick. Clip towards the front. And I am going to go to the other side and finish off this row. So now on this side, this section, I'm obviously going to use a long roller. Wind that in and clip. But what I have left on this side is not the same length as what I had on the other side, which tells me that I'm probably a little bit off center, but that's okay. We will put a short roller. The diameter is still the same. It's just the length of the roller. So whatever fits in your section. Ideally, yes, I would like to have the exact same length of rollers, short and long on both sides, but as long as the diameter is the same, we're okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five rows. I'm down over the crown of the head. So now I'm going to start to diminish my volume and I'm going to change diameter. So I'm going to switch to gray rollers or yellow or the same diameter. These are about three quarters of an inch in diameter. So I'm still going to measure one and a half diameter at the center to one diameter at the sides, keeping that curved up happy face. So subdivide, section out the entire section from one side to the other, then subdivide. One, then two, then one, which means I need to split. And as I change roller diameter, I'm also going to change tool position. So I'm going to measure again length of my roller. Now I'm going to do half off base. As I come down over the curve of the head, I don't want as much volume. So half off base means the hair is combed 90 from the center of the base, where on base was 45 degrees above the center. So I want to start creating less volume towards the bottom. So when I change roller diameter, I'm also going to change my tool position. So I went from on base to half off and I went from a larger diameter roller to a smaller diameter. I am going to finish or continue this row with my smaller diameter and a half off base tool position, meaning 90 from the center of the base.
So I am going to continue this roller set and finish it off by doing half off base tool position and using my smaller diameter rollers and continue to bricklay. One and a half in the center to one diameter towards the hairline. And then I will finish off with one short roller on the other side. We need to go back to the front sections that we left out. And we're going to go back to our larger diameter rollers, which are the beige or the red. I want to comb this hair back off of the face. I'm going to put my roller top of that hair, get my ends around, and I am rolling this towards the face. And clip from the top of the section. I will do the same on the other side. Keep your section wet. Comb that hair back away from the face. Then put that roller under the hair and roll towards the face. And clip.
because I do not have another small gray ruler, I am finishing off with a pin curl. So this will be your completed bricklay roller set.